Tell a scary story. All right, I'll tell a scary story. All right, Fuck. so one time, this is a true story. So one time, I was at Leland House. Take shit back. All right. Mm -hmm. And now Leland House, his, his old house was rumored to have ghosts. No cat. This is no right. cat. Yeah. So Leland has a sister. She was watching us. We were a little bit younger. Not hella young, but she's not watching us. She was just in the house. She was asleep, right? Me and Leland was watching TV in the living room. This is broad daylight. Now, in the back of Leland house, we watch the TV, and we see something tall as hell, about the size of the door, walk past <laughs> the hallway. Walk right through the hallway. Jordan is asleep. Jordan is Leland's sister. She's asleep. Hey, you uh, Are you hearing me? <laughs> we see something walk past. Now, the fact that I know we both seen it, it's because both of us looked over just at the same time and then looked at each other, right? Nigga was big. The, 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 the motherfucking shadow had to be as big as like motherfucking Kevin Durant or something. <laughs> so, no, he was tall. It's a tall shadow. So we went outside. Hold on, listen, listen. We, we went outside and we waited outside all the way until his mama came home, which was like an hour and a half. No kidding, y'all. Now, what makes this story really scary is that Leland's house really had fucking ghosts in it. Like, we're not capping. Them niggas had to, like, hire somebody to motherfucking put some stuff in their house. Leland, cap yeah, or not? That, 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 no, that's not cap at all. We had to have somebody bless our house. They had to have somebody bless their house. Yes. And when they, man, hey, the shit was scary. And I fucked with Leland so heavy, I had to go to Leland's house every day after school, all the way through from elementary school to middle school, right? I had to go to his house every day at school because my parents were still at work. They couldn't pick me up. So I rode home with Leland and his mama. We got there every day. Now, one, and I would go over there on weekends too because me and Leland was like hella close. So I would just go over there all the time. And one day they sat me down in the living room. Leland, Jordan, and, and my Aunt Tammy, Leland's mama, sat me down uh, in the living room. And these niggas going to tell me, I'm, first of all, <laughs> hold on, first of all, they sat me down in the living room. I'm, I'm sitting at that bitch. I don't know what's going on. They yeah. look like they finna talk to me like, like, like I don't know, like the five kage summit. I'm saying, man, this must be important. They ain't never sat me down. So I said, okay, what, what's going on? They said, Jay, have you ever seen anything in this house? I said, what, what you talking about, hey, Timmy? And she said, well, there, there's like, there's like ghosts in this house. I said, I just stared at them. You said there's ghosts in this house? Hey, I'll be terrified. And they said, yes, not like real life. And I looked at Leland, I'm like, ha you, you right? No, they not. They're, they're dead ass. They had ghosts in the house. So I had to make a conscious decision in my head. Like, do I fuck with Leland and his family enough to come back over here every day? I have to think about that. But to me, my nigga Leland and his family was so funny. And we clicked so good together. I said, fuck it. It is what it is. I'm going to have to fight these motherfucking ghosts. <laughs> I say it is what it is. If I'm Ichigo, I have to be Ichigo on that bitch. I don't know. But I'm going back in there. That's what I say. I'm going in there. How was it whenever you used to go there and spend the night, though? Would you like leave the room by yourself? Or what? No, 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 no. Let me tell you. No, I'm about to tell you something, nigga. All right. Every night we would stay up to like. Literally, like most of the nights we would stay up to like 9 a.m. playing Street Fighter, Street Fighter <laughs> EX3. Damn. Right? Now, some nights, though, we would be watching Case Closed. Uh, it's an anime show called Case Coast, and it come on like three or four in the morning, and niggas would fall asleep, and by niggas, I mean Jordan and Leland would fall asleep, and we in Jordan room, and I'm sitting, I'm the only nigga awake, and I will tell y'all this, every time I'm the only nigga awake, I be trying to do shit to keep niggas up. I be like, hey Leland, <laughs> Leland, <laughs> look at this part, look at this part, Leland, because I'm scared. His house was scary, his house was scary, so I be like, Leland, Leland, but this one time, this nigga Leland, he, he. One time we was in the living room and Leland was asleep again and Jordan was asleep and his mama worked overnight. So I was fucking terrified. This nigga Leland was knocked. He told me, he told me that he, he could stay up late enough. Like he, he wasn't sleepy. I looked over there 10 minutes later, he was knocked and I really wasn't sleepy. So I'm over here trying to force, you know how you try to force yourself to go to sleep. I'm, I got my eyes closed. I'm, I'm like, shit closed. I said, nigga, just go to sleep, nigga. Go to sleep. His his house is scary, y'all. That's why it's really scary. But then this commercial came on. It was Adult Swim. You know Adult Swim got some weird ass, scary ass commercials, bro. So that was said, Adult Swim, it said, Lucy, daughter of the devil. And that was like, oh! And I'm, I'm taking the fucking living room. 
I was finna start crying. I said, Mama, I swear to God, could pick me up, bro. I tried to, so I woke Leland up. I said, I said, Leland, Leland, wake up, Leland, wake up. Leland, Leland. He said, whoa, 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 whoa. I, I said, bro. I said, bro, like, hey, bro, you want to go play the game, bro? You want to go play the game? It's 4 in the morning. I know this nigga don't want to play the game. He said, what, 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 what? And he just went back to sleep. I'm sitting in that bitch. <laughs> I was going to start fucking crying, nigga. I was going to start crying. I was terrified, bro. And, bro, this nigga, man, and when they told me all these ghost stories, and I swear, I, I couldn't, I just, I would force myself to go to sleep first. Lucy, daughter of the devil. Bro, the shit was, the shit was scary, bro. Wait, hey, that, bro, that's our second win, right? Mama see a ghost or something, bro? Yeah, she yes, to. for real, for real. Yes, oh, okay, she's seen okay. a ghost. Okay, she's seen okay. a ghost. Uh, she, I was like, bro, she could she had to see something. What you mean, I'm the older that's cousin? Crazy. I'm at this nigga house. What the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> that's they, that's they pet ghost. I don't know that nigga. That's a thing house, nigga. He walking around that bitch 6'11 like Kevin Durant. And I'm in that bitch like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all think I'm playing, bro? That nigga... Bro, Leland, yeah, swear to bro, God, Leland, swear uh, to God, though. Bro, no, this, this is no cap. Like, it's, it's childish as it sounds. This is no, it's absolutely zero cap. Yo, I'm telling you, I, I seen that bit, man. I'm terrified. Niggas be thinking I'm playing, bro. This ain't no joke, bro. Niggas be like, tell a story. I got millions of stories. That's why it used to be story time Sunday. But no, for real, nigga, I be at Leland house. That shit was scary, nigga. That shit was scary, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Them niggas always left me awake, too. That shit is fucking hilarious. Man, I used to hate being at sleepovers to be in the last one awake. I'm like, man, y'all just, yo. That shit, that shit was, man, this nigga had real life yeah. ghosts in his shit, bro. So you're saying if you had ghosts at your house, then you would be the one to take up for it. Yes. Your house. Yes. If, if that's, uh -oh. if the ghost was in my motherfucking house, I'd be like, Leland, wake me up. This nigga Leland didn't give a fuck. He didn't knock down on my motherfucking ass. <laughs> How old are you at this point? No, I was like, like, I was like, no, but I stayed over Leland from 10 to like 15. Every day type yeah. shit. This nigga, Jordan, his sister want to tell us stories like this before bedtime. This is some shit they do in the Leland house. Jordan be like, Jordan be like, no, Jay, for real. Like one time I was laying in bed and, and like, I felt like it was a presence at the end of my bed, like just standing over oh, me. Brother. And I was fucking like, I, she, oh, she explaining in detail. How it felt to have a presence over there. And then them niggas, and then Leland and Jordan be like this. All right, put on the movie. And then I be like, all right, y'all awake though, right? They say, yeah, we awake. We watching the movie. Three minutes in. I'm talking about just got out the intro. I look left and right. Them niggas knock. I said, oh, what? <laughs> what y'all doing? Uh, no. <laughs> what y'all doing? What are y'all doing? <laughs> Why y'all doing this? <laughs> Wake up. I be fucking about to start slapping pants in that bitch. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> I can't even pee, nigga. I'm so scared I can't pee, nigga. I gotta hold it all the way to like fucking Yo, 11 a.m. tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not, y'all think I'm playing, bro. Fucking Shit crazy. Oh, bro. Uh, no, I don't, I don't. Not that Who that thinks one you're playing? Story, you, didn't you didn't tell the other story. That, that one was terrible. You, you, you talking about the, the KD? The KD? No, no, no. It was the one where you got fucking... Oh, what that happened to you? Bro, that shit's scary, bro. Oh, yeah, Leon, tell me okay, a story. Okay. Tell me a story about the time you got pushed into a wall by a ghost, bro. <laughs> yes, bro. Okay. That one, bro. That shit's scary. That just sounds crazy. That just sounds crazy. Nigga. I, oh, I was young. I think I was probably like 89. I got out the bed because I had to pee, bro. It was a school night. I remember this shot. I'll never forget this shit ever. I was walking. I was walking down the hallway, and I swear to God, bro, a force pushed me towards the wall. And I was like, at first, I thought I could have been tripping, but ain't nobody going to trip like that that far into a fucking wall. So I ran straight up in my mama room. And uh, the next day, <laughs> the next day we called somebody to come to our fucking house. But the thing is, though, uh, I actually I remember this. I was in fifth grade, to be exact, because my sister worked at McDonald's at the time. So after we got the lady to come bless our house, we left, and uh, my dad was living at the house, so the house was empty. So after we got back and picked my sister up from work, it was like midnight. We got there, and we had this light. It was a most essential light that was in front of our house. And uh, when we got back, the light bulb was busted. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'll be careful. Like, and it was that was like that was day. after you blessed it, right? Yeah, it was the same day. Like, yeah, the same day after we did it. Y'all, they blessed like, the house and the light was busted outside of it, bro. Oh, see, that shit's terrifying. That's that's that ghost was hot as hell crazy. leaving that bitch. He said, "Fucking light." He saw that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All the way. I'm the not even playing. That nigga was tripping. Is, though, like the, 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 you know how like you have to like screw light bulbs in to take them in and out. Yeah. It, yeah. it was still screwed in. 
It was yeah. Good, so that was, so it just, it, yeah, it popped. Yeah. It popped. Yeah. So at yeah. that point, nigga, I was fucking terrified. And then, and, and then, and told me like they might, they might be buried, like they, they, they house might be buried on an ancient burial ground. I said, Oh, oh, oh my that's... god! Oh, Not my house, my, my neighborhood. My neighborhood. Yeah, oh, all that neighborhood is on ancient burial ground, so it's like fucking dead pilgrims and shit. Like this shit's scary, bro. I'm that's not even scary. playing, bro. That's terrifying. Man, why would they build all over, bro? Tripping, Niggas talking about why did you not leave? <laughs> Nigga, you can't just uh, 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 Get make money room, appear bro. out of nowhere and, and move out of a house and bar. <laughs> that nigga said, he said, like, that ghost said, fuck it, something coming with me, bitch. <laughs> 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 that nigga broke the light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> the Are you said the BJS stuff was built over uh, ancient burial ground, you said? Yeah, no, it's like a, it's not, not ancient, but it was like a, like a cemetery. Ben, leave it alone. This oh, dumbass nigga ghost starts looking that shit up. Let it go. No, 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 for real, no, no, that's not even that. They said the project was built over a cemetery too. Oh, and you live right by that's him. That's why I'm asking. We live right by each other. That's why I was asking. I was that's like, scary. Y'all niggas, that's, that's scary. scary. That's fucking terrifying. Yeah, yeah. I, that's just scary. Hello? I'm like, damn. I know that shit was funny, but y'all niggas gotta understand that shit was real. Yeah, that's not real. There's zero, zero cap. What if the ghost just wanted to be your friend? Shit, yeah, he should have said something. Instead of terrorizing. Y'all about to fight harder than that fighting game. Come on, let me get one in. I'm trying to tell you, bro. The, the, scary, the scariest thing is when that nigga walked by and we both saw it, bro. We both saw it at the same time. That means something for sure was there. Y'all both reacted the exact same time. I, no I remember, I remember, I remember exactly other. what we was doing and everything, bro. Cause uh, we, we was, we was being childish. We was playing over the remote, trying to figure out what we was gonna put the TV on. And the fact that that hoe took our attention both at the same time to point our attention towards the hallway. Ain't no way we, ain't no way we both saw. Something. Like we just, we didn't see nothing. There is no way. No way. That was terrifying. Wait, 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 so wait, wait. can y'all describe what y'all actually saw though? It was just like a shadowy it was, figure? It, it, was, it was just a dark figure, but that hoe was tall as shit. A dark figure? Like, it was not against the I'm wall? I'm trying to get to the bottom of this hoe. No, I, I'm just trying to imagine it too. Yeah, it was like a, just a dark mass. I advise you, John, do. Hey, y'all join the game. So, I'm gonna tell y'all a little story. This is really, you know what I'm saying? Uh, believe it or not, Wait, did you join the few years right. ago, uh, before I joined Artisty, you know what I'm saying, I was a loser. <laughs> I know. But, you know what I'm saying, like, throughout oh, the years, I've, um, you know what I'm saying, I have, you know, learned a lot, you know, being in this house, I've absorbed a lot of things, and, you know what I'm saying, I learned, you know, from my, my, my colleagues, my brothers, my family, you know what I'm saying, and I've, I've, uh, I've, Made a name for myself. Uh, played that job. You feel me? Uh, on Call of Duty. So, uh, you know, in the past, I haven't been as good at this game as you know some might think. The pro the progression has been pretty slow. But uh, to wrap this up, you know, I, uh, I'm showing y'all right now uh, that you can come to me. You can be sorry, and you can just like you feel me. And I'm about to show y'all when we get to 13, uh, just how uh, it works. So, the end. This nigga said, hell no, this is you, scary. Appreciate you, John. <laughs> that, was a, that was a killer monologue. That was a killer monologue, man. What the fuck, John? That was, that was scary, nah. for real. Nah, it nah, sounded like you just gonna uh, unveil your whole plan right then and there. Bro, nah, bro. I think you should have waited. I think you should have waited until the game started going so we got like some background noise and that, so that was silent. Yeah. I was thinking the fuck out of this I was terrified, bro. I was terrified. I said, bro, what's, what are you about to say? What, what is he about to say? Bro? Why is it Ben talking? Y'all niggas is ruining my shit. That nigga said, why is Ben talking? And you will see that when you when you all when you Whoa, all go to Ben's room and see his lifeless body on the ground. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, this that bitch ass man. Oh, this is the bitch ass man. Look, that nigga standing on shit sniping. Are 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 they bitch ass team? Are they a bitch ass team? Uh, it's too early to tell. I ain't, I st I ain't I, seen I, nobody. I killed one person. He, he okay, was definitely I found a bitch. No, I ran out of ammo. Bitch too. <laughs> yeah, you ran out of ammo, but only killed one person. We definitely fighting uh, bitch ass niggas. That means. Nah, I ran out of ammo because I was missing. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm a real dog. I'm gonna let you know. Damn, that's oh found oh, yeah, they, in the they in the back of the map on some weak shit. On they, they side? Yeah. I don't know what side. Left or right? They side. Strong side. Damn. Uh... Reloading. 
I don't like this. Bob's gonna take his fucking head off. You didn't, Jay. Where are they at, bro? Mm -hmm. On in the back of this, Somebody I don't know there. how to fucking explain this shit. Was not gonna lie to you. Oh my god, find you, Jay. Cold sniper, though. Bro, where everybody at, bro? Nah, bro, I saw spread the fuck out. Like, Spawn just flipped. Yeah, it did flip. Hey, Jay, you know what Matt they need to put on this bit, bro? What? Ooh. You remember Wasteland, bro? Well, that hoe's hard. That hoe's hard as shit. Aw, oh, they sold me. Wasteland, no was way. This nigga just came out of fucking nowhere. That's crazy. Hmm, knock this bitch ass out, man. Hey, I got one for y'all. Hey, oh. top top five Call of Duty match. Oh, shit. Terminal, 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 terminal. get down! Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Terminal in my shit. What the fuck? You hear, you hear me? That huh. nigga dead ass peak Aaron Rodgers. What, Aaron Rodgers. what the fuck going on? Top five nice. Call of Duty maps of all time. That nigga not. Nice. Terminal, what he do? What he do to you? What he do terminal, to you? Bro, bro. He threw that bitch from farther than a goddamn like my sniper could see and threw a. Uh, uh, an incendiary grenade and literally it hit me. He <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you say Tom Brady? Yeah, yeah I say Peach Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers Peach. That, 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 that nigga made. That nigga cold. That shit was accurate. <laughs> oh shit. Oh no, not a flash. That's the sorriest nigga I ever played again. Fuck. Nah, Shout out Cash for gifting 10 10 1 subs. My boy, hey. for real. I'm in 10 community subs. Bro, bro, I have not seen a nigga in so long. You're not looking hard enough. You, you're right. That's my little cousin, y'all. Round of applause for him. Bye, I, uh, I took off smell. I'll just have a map again, bro. Get up out of there. What was that nigga doing? Damn it, I missed. I don't like this gun. Give me a sh. Oh no. Oh, what? Where was she at? I couldn't see her. Yeah. Shout out Nexus Dimitri and Nairo Patillo. Forget the 10 and 5 subs to the community. Appreciate you. The Appreciate com you. community. Don't worry, John. I got community. you. The community thanks you. Filling in more strike in mom. That hell's gonna get absolutely nobody. Oh bro, who the fuck got, I got my way? Bro. You fucking fuck a two shit in my bitch ass. Who was that? Who? Who's in the middle? Yeah. Okay, so this was. I just died by somebody and you got in my way when I was gonna snipe the nigga. Bro, there's no fucking way, bro. Who? No, I sniped that nigga. You might be so trash. Yeah. This map is ass, I ain't gonna lie to you. It's the only ass one. They just put buildings everywhere. This hoe is fucking made by Sam. Bro, no cat. There's no stop. Oh, this hoe. Ah, <laughs> I, I dad's gonna make this hoe. No cat. This hoe just got. <laughs> they just put buildings around this hoe. That nigga say you think you're in phase, little guy? In your basic Unreal Engine lobby, looking at. <laughs> this is one of those apps you used to make on uh, Tony Rock uh, Underground. I'm so sorry, Desmond. I saw it. Oh, what? So... I thought that was. Oh. That's something I got. Uh, nigga trying to run for it. Nigga jumped out the window. Hello. Nigga scared. He running. Oh, behind y'all. Behind to the left of y'all. <coughs> My fucking gosh. Our UAV is orbiting the area. Everybody's yeah, not making this a hundred score map. Yeah, this hoe. This is twenty-five. Bro, You're come so on, lucky. bro. You said thirty-five. Thirty-five. No, thirty-five. You had it. Thirty-five. Yeah. <laughs> May the best man win. Like I'm trying to get my sniper skills uh, quick scoping up. So I'm running as close as possible. Pulling out the sniper and zooming in. The sniper's annoying. Turn into a surfer. We need, we need to turn it, uh, run a quick scope lobby. That should get you right, no cap. Fuck. Oh my gosh. Oh, what the fuck? It's the biggest piece of dog shit. Oh shit, bitch, I see. What? Blame the fuck. 
You think that you can outsnipe me? You've lost your mind. Oh my god, no way you survived. This sniper that. will not be leaving my possession. <laughs> Is that you with you? Bow, nigga! Damn. Damn, that shit. I know that shit hurt. Oh my gosh, bro. Ooh. In this game immediately. How they at UAV? Nigga, that's... Oh, oh no, the nigga, the sniper is distracting me. He's got flashlight. I'll show them with a sniper in hand. Ah. This nigga. Where do you see it? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Uh. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. That is bitch ass. I had to abandon my sniper ways for, for just a second. What the fuck do you have a shotgun on this map? <laughs> oh my nah, nigga, God. He has no, he has no reason, no means to play in this game, right? <clears throat> He's about to go sit in the house and camp. Goddamn Laszlo. That is stupid, bro. About to sit in that bitch oh camp. my fucking <laughs> gosh, bro. Uh, bomb. This shit taking forever to finish this off. Oh my god. I'm feeding for real, guys. <laughs> you such a bitch. One I'm more snipe. Say less. <gasps> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He, I'm gonna try to my nigga right to the left of me. Fucking set me on fire. Nigga. He dead ass tagged your ass, Dylan. Yes, sir. I got ben, before I left. Not it looks much. like you were camping. I was in the last part. Camper. Oh, you you saying you saying Ben is Lazlo? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not good. <laughs> Six in a row, y'all. Easy yeah, pickings. Throw your walks in the chat. Throw your leaders in the chat. Throw your dances in the chat. Get up in the background. He's a cap hooper. Yeah, I told y'all yeah, the story. I told y'all the story. Bob, you know how many niggas I seen dressed like this in high school, y'all? Duke. Boy, get your stupid ass. <laughs> <laughs> them foams, them khaki pants, and the African shirt. Nigga, never been to Africa. This shit crazy. I hate them <laughs> niggas, man. I hate them niggas, bro. That nigga Duke thought he was intelligent as hell in that bitch. That nigga know he was trying to <laughs> trick the girls. That nigga look like an evil villain in his middle picture, though. Look at that nigga like... No, nah, I yeah, he, definitely, he definitely plotted some. This shit crazy. They can say he never been to Africa. First day of school. <laughs> yes, bro. Look. First day back to school. Phil. Hold on, hold on. I got to doing Dr. Umar cosplay. Thank you, RDC. Don't find us at A Pokemon. I'm trying to appreciate oh y'all. Got hope, God. but if you can take a look at them, I'd appreciate it. just saying how much I love y'all. Appreciate you, my boy. I'm gonna look at him. Duke. Now nah, you look like a villain in that middle piece. <laughs> That's, Duke, That's what I told you. He definitely. Nah. Nah, he was plotting on. Hey, no, 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 cap, no cap. He was plotting on T'Challa in that hood. One hundred percent. He did not agree with what T'Challa said in that hood. And he, yeah, he left. He left. He left halfway in the movie. Oh and my god. That nigga got the joggers on, the Africa shirt, ain't been to Africa, <laughs> and no the fake way. glasses. <laughs> this is crazy, nigga. Crazy. This is what every nigga <laughs> used to do. This is what every nigga used to do. I swear to you, bro. No, that, not the iPhone picture. He show he making sure the Apple show. Damn, making sure that whole show. Damn. But that I know. Red, the red one? The I red know. Phone? I know he was getting hoes because I know niggas was dressed like this. He was getting hoes, man. And dude, you pretty dangerous. Black and red phones, you pretty dangerous, yeah, nigga. You definitely. That you, was hey, dangerous. No, all red, you definitely, bro. It's like, a, it's like a fucking gun. You can't get that skin. He had to like kick 100 heads before he got the hoes. Hell yeah. That's, <laughs> he definitely that's kicked the 100 heads. You, gotta, you, you can't wear a phone pop. 
box for fun. You can't just wear them hoes. Like, yeah, no. You can't, you can't, can't wear them hoes in your them. fight and you can't box. Like, we expect all niggas wearing foams to at least have uh, yeah, no, you a, a, box. A, a basic level of boxing. Like, <laughs> come on now. Like, you know you about to get in that fight and take a few hits if you fight a nigga with foams. Right. So, I, I respect Duke for that. But the middle pick, he just like an anime villain. That's just it. He didn't agree with what the teller said about the, the direction of Wakanda. This is crazy. <laughs> 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 that, yeah, that nigga say, yeah, I see somebody in the chat. Positive KD and fights for show and, and phones. Yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> Good positive KD. That's for, yes, sir, yes, sir. Africa shirt, what, Africa shirt, nigga, box what, for what show. You got what, what's more dangerous out of phones, phones and griffies? Mm, look, mm, I'm gonna mm, say phones, bro. I'm gonna say phones. Griffies, griffies is dangerous, but griffies can also be worn by niggas who really don't do that. Oh, give me an example, bro. I can't, bro. Hey, look, it's going listen. I ain't gonna name. I ain't gonna name nothing. Oh, okay, but, you're right. You're right. But trust me, you know mm. Griffey's. Griffey's is not more dangerous than than foams. Mm. Griffey's is not more dangerous than foams. To me, it was niggas just wearing Griffey's for fun. They thought them hoes look like just regular Nike shoes, bro. That's why <laughs> foams is for niggas who's. I'm telling you, you ain't never seen a a, a nigga in foams that cannot box. Them hoes is all purpose too. You can box like they—they they won't even boot. allow you to put them hoes on. That hoe like a you got to lock that <laughs> Like I'm telling you, see, look, foams only for hustling niggas. Griffiths can be worn by any dirty motherfucker. Facts. That's what. Okay, like, okay, I, okay. That's fine. I didn't what think are you of that. saying? I didn't think like yeah. Griffiths. I'm telling you, I've seen Griffiths on all types of niggas before. But foams, I, I've only seen foams on a dangerous nigga. Look at foams are definitely planet busters. I'm not gonna cap. Of course, these some, cri- yeah, plan- some prisoner shoes. Of course. Of course, Foams is only Planet Busters, bro. <laughs> not not, not, not just bomb. Planet Busters, just niggas that can all, like, you know, almost destroy the planet at least. Mm-hmm. I see, I see. <laughs> but but them, them red, white, and blue ones, though? I don't know. Any any shoe with a red, white, and blue colorway, them hoes is dangerous as a bitch. At, at where we from, if you got a red, white, and blue colorway and um and you on the bridge... Nope. Oh, nigga, oh, you, yeah, you don't first care. First of all, listen to that. Every time something happens on the anime and it's at a bridge, it's fighting. The Fourth of July, <laughs> the Fourth of July, that's where we used to, uh, to spend um, our Fourth of July. We watched the fireworks. It was called the bridge. Everybody would come out there with their fucking best outfits. And hey, like I said, in these two with, with a red, white, and blue colorway, hey, you you maxed one hundred percent. And they shooting fireworks at niggas' eyes. Hey, on Elm Street, it's actually it's actually a street in Waco called Elm Street. You, you must know what's on that bitch? You must be safe. You must be safe, brother. They will shoot Roman candles at your face. You have to be on the lookout at all times. No, they'll throw, they'll throw artillery shell in the middle of the street, and yeah. all you gotta do is move, nigga. You, gotta you can't think. You can't think about it. Nah, nah, nah. You gotta be ready for the sparks at any moment. Bro, no I got, bro, I don't know if I did. I tell y'all about Dylan. I told y'all about oh. Dylan on 6th Street. Oh, he wasn't ready. Oh, yeah, yeah. my first time. Nigga, 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 I told that nigga, man. I told that nigga, chat. I said, hey, Dylan, when niggas start running on 6th Street, I don't need you to think, nigga. I need you to move, nigga. I have to, <laughs> to talk to this nigga like a drill sergeant. And guess what? Nigga, he thought it was a game. Nigga start shooting on the street out there. Guess what this dumb ass nigga doing? He, he didn't move. Analyzing he didn't the move. situation. He didn't analyzing the situation. I'm already moving. I'm already Parks. moving. I turn around. Dylan's still standing there, nigga. I grab Parks. this nigga by his shirt and run with him. Oh God! Oh God, I did. Oh God, I did. That nigga stood there. I said, "You not, you not understanding." I told you, my hero. After I grabbed that nigga on me, after I grabbed that nigga, I told that nigga. I said, "Dylan, what we just talk about?" Get that nigga prepped up. What if I'm not? What if I'm, able, what if I'm not able to get to you next time, bro? <laughs> No, you know how many times, man, on 6th Street, when niggas start playing around, you know how many times me and Leela ran away, but we not with each other? Like, niggas start shooting. Hey, I'm not I'm not worried about Leela on 6th Street. No. No. On 6th Street, we run the same direction, but it don't matter. Like, yeah, after hey. that, after I, after I you. see Leela feet moving, after I see Leela foot moving, it's, it's every man for themselves. We got to both be running. Hey, don't, Jay, hold on. But hold on. Hey, don't let hey, this hey, don't hey, let hey. this distract you from the story when Leland left me on the ground and the gun oh, yeah. and, and the villain was behind me. That ain't it. Because the villain right behind me. That ain't it. On, on fucking 6th oh, Street, if you're not moving, you're gonna get stomped on. It's like a stampede. Nigga, oh, we're talking about, 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 about the 4th of July. We're talking about the 4th of July. Nigga, the Texas relays is the most dangerous part. The most dangerous time period to go to fucking 6th Street, nigga. It's That's up. what I'm talking about. 
That's what I'm saying. I'm saying, saying, saying yeah, I, I understand, but we we got we got to establish that the Texas relays is the most dangerous time of Sixth Street. It don't matter what else is going on, you cannot beat it. It's more it's dangerous than the first. Dangerous. It's most dangerous than the first. It's more dangerous than South by Southwest. All of the cities at least. It's like a five car game. Oh, South by Southwest as peak though is pretty. Was pretty yeah, dangerous. That was, that was dangerous. Mm, that, hey, Jay, you, you forgot about that. You forgot about uh, dangerous ass fights, bro. You remember that one time that nigga, like, we all saw a nigga die, bro. Like, cause uh, he <laughs> went into that car, he was boxing hard as hell. Who? He, he moved. You moved. You moved Z at the way. It was me, you, and Z. Oh yeah, you talking about? Oh, you talking about? No, we was just, mm. we was just, yo, we was just on Sixth Street. It was a random night. Were, Oh, well, night. You know, you know, hard, niggas, right? Dog. You know, niggas. I'm out here chopping. Listen, I'm, I'm like, I was chopping. I was trying to talk, talk some girls, blah, 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 nigga. Mm-hmm. On God, but I felt my bro. I'm a come on, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a sensory ninja. Like I, I know this shit before, crazy. way before other niggas. Like I'm a sensory ninja. I'm, I'm like looking for this girl that I was chopping in the party. And party ended, and you know when a nigga party in, you got to know your goal, brother. I'm going to teach you again. <laughs> and when a nigga party in, you must know your goal. There is no reason for you to lag hanging around. Y'all niggas uh, chopping up right there in front of the... No, you got to know your goal. So I'm moving. I'm like, where the girl go? Oh, she ain't around? I got to go. I start walking with, with, with one of our friends named Z and Dez. And that's, you know, my... I, uh, niggas is boxing. I turn around. <laughs> niggas throwing fucking hands. I'm talking about hands. Bro, right hands hard, nigga, we move to the hard. side. They, they go straight to where we at. And nigga banging him up on a car, like hitting this nigga no. on somebody else's car. You can't get in your car. Not right there. Ted, Ted, Ted. Dead ass, they was running full speed, like full speed boxing each other. It was like a fucking, it was, it was like it Dragon was Ball quick. Z. You must I move promise. And that nigga, and that nigga, and that nigga hit the car. So it was a car parked on the side of the street. He hit his head on that hole so hard. I said, Ooh. oh, that, I thought I just saw a nigga die. I thought that nigga hey, was niggas, going, bro. niggas is big too. Oh, but that nigga got back. He got back up. It was boxing even harder. I said, what the oh, fuck? Get a boost. Hey, cool. listen. I think he got a boost. That's the- nap. That's Napa weight level. Like they both two hundred plus. Them, them boys was big. Them boys was big. Them boys banging dog. And, and on the car. I, and what's after fighting? You guessed it, guns. So you gotta get to moving. Like yes, you don't anal- don't analyze too much. Once a nigga start losing, there's a gun coming. You have to go. And guess what? A fight is <laughs> somebody gotta win, right? So if once a nigga start losing, if guns is coming, that means what? Do your math. Ten times out of ten, a gun is coming. Every situation, somebody gotta lose the fight, right? Then a gun's coming out. Are you in a nigga spot? Yes. Then the guns are coming out. You're not. You're not locked in. So I, this is how I feel about it. If you are in a situation and niggas are boxing. You should know that a gun is coming. There is never no happy ending. This ain't Disney Channel, nigga. Always something will happen afterwards. Mm-hmm. It will. It, 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 this is the only one of two ways that can happen. Either that they boxing, a gun is brought out, or they boxing with strings, three other niggas to box, and then everybody around, uh, all the niggas around, their levels start getting up. Now, hey, hey any nigga can get it in this bitch. Hey, that's why everybody's <laughs> hitting that's levels a, go up. That's a, that's a, but that's a bait. That's a bait line, though. That's a bait line. He's not really talking to nobody, but it's really a test to see if that's a nigga's gonna take it. That's why we made that video, y'all. When, yes. when a nigga say this out in front of everybody, y'all, there's no reason to get into that. Any nigga out here can get it. I know what you're thinking in your mind, because I know what I'd be thinking in my mind. Come on, that nigga not talking to me. But yeah. No, yeah. he really he he's he's yeah. dangerous. He just wants somebody to he wants somebody to step up. Yeah, fact. That's what he wants. He, yeah. I don't even know if he want it. He just want to show out for the hoes. I mean, my fault. He don't even want to box for real, but he do want to box. It's, and he, it's, got, he got liquor in the system, so he's not thinking straight. He's not even thinking straight, bro. Just oh, yeah. move around. Like, you're not weak. Listen, you're not weak for understanding a situation. That's yeah. a lose lose, brother. You don't, don't even, you don't even, you're not even boxing for a reason. You boxing because a nigga just challenged everybody on the street. It's not true. Hey. This he's not it's not it's not Smash Bros. Talking about newcomer coming and he gotta fight you. No, it's everybody on the street. It's it's just random. Don't even fall for it. Yeah, one time we had we left the club. We was at IHOP after uh, after we finished. And first of all, it's like four fucking high schools in in Waco. And there was a nigga. He just said, "Hey, oh my mama, can't no nigga from Waco High with me." He didn't go to Waco High, but why would you say that? You know what I'm saying? Don't make sense. You don't like. Come on, bro. Like what? Don't make sense. Hey, Jay, speaking oh, of that, everybody, too. everybody go to IHOP. Everybody go to IHOP after uh everybody goes to IHOP after fucking dangerous parties. <laughs> IHOP is spot. Papa, give it to us, IHOP. Come on now. Come on, IHOP, man. it's a, it's a place that's open. If it's open 24 hours, niggas is there after parties. Man, that's why Whataburger, that's why Whataburger is a number one spot. Oh, oh Whataburger. Oh, yeah. definitely chose uh Whataburger as a oh, oh, good one too. 
Waffle House? Oh, yeah. Waffle House. Yeah, Waffle yeah. House. Waffle House. Hey, hey right. Jay, the uh, the Blood Moon is coming, bro. The Red and White Twelves is coming out again in October. Expect the surplus and fights coming. I expect to sir. <laughs> hey, hey, red, 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 listen, any Jordan with reds, <laughs> but especially the elevens. Expect eleven to twelve. I'm fucking dead. The blood moon is coming. The cherry twelves is coming up. Dead the ass. <laughs> dead ass. <laughs> I, I thought it was those days are gone. I thought it was in times of peace. Hell no. <laughs> the <Those> days <laughs> are gone. But you gotta think, Dylan. The last time the cherry twelves came this out, is bored, it was in 2009. I, thought, nigga, this is, I thought the days was gone though. Let me they, tell you, they, don't do, they don't do in person releases. Yeah, yeah, let me talk to him. Let me talk to him. <laughs> Dylan, the last time the Cherry Twelves that came out uh, was two thousand nine, right? And they only come with yeah. limited. They only come with limited pairs. Okay, Jay, follow me on this. <laughs> they only come with limited pairs. Multiple niggas are going to the mall for them, but nobody's leaving with them. So what does that mean? I'm saying, do they do that anymore? What? what? Okay. Do they release in stores anymore like that? I don't know yeah. if they release in stores like that no more. But I'm saying the box is still the same, brother. Yes, brother. Yes. The box is still the same. We just older. That we don't see crazy, it bro. We can't. Uh, this shit, Day of Black Sun or something, bro. Eric <laughs> <That's laughs> said, man. Hey, yes. I, fuck with, I fuck with you, Khalid. He said, man, he ain't listening. He don't know. <laughs> you know, he don't know. It, 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 nah, you no, can't, no. I, don't even get, I don't even get mad at people for not listening. Yeah, the, you just, the, you, you wasn't there. The scary 12s, nigga, stop playing, bro. Top two, look, top two 12, 12 colorway, facts. <laughs> cherry 12, facts. Hey, I've seen at least 60 niggas boxing the Cherry 12s on God. Oh, nigga, what? On God. Wait, what's, what's the, so what's the hardest fight in Jay, though? Like, if a nigga got that whole hose, like, he not taking no ills. I, I don't know. There's so many good, yeah, hard fighting Jays. Candidates, it's a lot of them hoes. I know he feels so hard. Yeah, he does, man. What the fuck? A fight story? Y'all want a fight story? All right, true story. I was living in Houston at the time, right? I used to live in this, this city called Spring, <laughs> Texas, right? Yeah. I was living in Spring, Texas. Now, me and my big brother, we used to hang with this dude in, te in Spring called, his name was Cody. This nigga was an evil ass nigga. Still, he was like, he would just, he would just do shit. He just want to do evil shit. He was like stealing bikes and shit, all that dumb <laughs> shit. Right? Regardless, we was, we was doing bad shit with him all the time. That's why I was always getting hurt and whatnot. Hurt because I'd be like trying to ride a bike and then do some type of BMX trick and then I would fucking land on my head and shit. But anyway, regardless of that, this is a fight story. There was this one nigga down the street, this is white nigga, right? We used to hang with the nigga sometimes. I don't know why. He was just a weird neighborhood kid, kinda. But like he was a cool, like he like a Houston white kid. Like they think they they cold sometimes. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I didn't have no problem with the nigga, but somehow the nigga wanted to, he just, we, the guy on a situation of fighting. Now I'm the young nigga. I'm like two years, I'm three, year young, three years younger than my brother. Now, this nigga down the street, he the same age as my brother, them, and he said, he said, uh, somehow Cody and him, Cody and the nigga, was like, oh, you want to fight? And then he was going to fight Cody. He said, no, let me pick who I want to fight. So he lined us up, all three of us, and <laughs> I'm the little one out of them two. And he said, I'm out of them, the other two, my brother and Cody. And he said, I want to fight him. He picked me. I'm way little than him. But I said, I, I'm, a, I'm a nigga. I said, I don't give a fuck, pretty much. I said, I don't care. So I ran up. I was banging on his motherfucking ass, too. I put that on everything I love, nigga. I was banging on his motherfucking ass. Then this nigga used his strength to overpower me. He got me in a chokehold. I said, I said, ah, fuck. Ah, fuck. Right. He was choking me, man. This nigga three years old and me start choking me. And this nigga, bro. My, then my brothers, them, they ran over there and they said, man, stop choking. Stop choking. You want a box? You got a box. Nigga didn't want to stop choking. So they pulled him off. And then they kicked this nigga, bro. They started kicking this nigga, and they made the nigga throw up all over the grass and shit. And then they was like, and they was kicking the shit out that nigga. I was like, damn. So I kicked that nigga too. For real, for real. I kicked that nigga too. I was like, bitch ass nigga. And then, at, and we had hit, we had his house in front yard. And he was like, I'm gonna kill y'all. I'm gonna kill y'all. He was throwing up and shit and crying. So we gave him his water hose. We gave him his water hose and let him drink it and shit. But like, man, it was, it was tough, man. It was really tough to see. Honestly, because he did, but, but he tried to pull some weak shit, but we, we were supposed to only do hands because that nigga was way bigger than me. I was banging him up on that nigga, tried choking me. I said, oh, he said, man. He said, he said y'all didn't agree on that. No, nah, we didn't, bro. And my brothers them jumped in and jumped that nigga, bro. Jump that nigga, <laughs> kick that nigga boat. Them hoes was hard. Yeah, and I said, oh, fuck it, me too. Kick that nigga too. It is what it is. <laughs> That's and that nigga was throwing up everywhere, and we gave him the water hose out of his yard at his house. No cap. No cap. <laughs> and I ain't never see that nigga again. Because we oh, moved, though. We moved like a year later or three months, like six months later, I mean. Damn.
down. Dump his ass. That nigga got banked, bro. That nigga got fucking banked. He, 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 he childish, but anyway, he, he knew that you were considerably younger than him. Bro, he shouldn't even pick me, bro. That's that's what I'm saying. But I was, bro, man, I was banging that nigga up. I was banging that nigga up on me. He tried to get a quick dub in and go on, look at that. Oh no, he, he saw a little. He looked like he thought he had it. He thought he had it. He got mad as shit, bro. That's really why he wanted to kill y'all, not because y'all was kicking him, bro. I, I, just, I just know. I just know that nigga was thinking that dub. But that nigga said, "Oh, they let me pick dub." Right here, right here. He became oh, full-time racist. Yeah, that nigga is racist now. Oh, yeah, you, you are the origin story to his racism. No, uh, yeah, no, no. I, I used to, I used to fight a lot when I was younger. For real, though. there was this one dude in Houston. His name was Daquan, bro. That was like one of our best friends. His name was Daquan, right? I mean, obviously, you, you fight with your friends, right? I ain't gonna tell only stories while I take a W. This time I took a loss. We was on top. I remember I was on top of my my toy box. We had oh, a toy that, that box. Rug, that rug yeah, yeah, that rug was toy box, bro. Me and the car was throwing. <laughs> I don't know what happened. We was arguing. I don't know what happened. We start throwing hands at that bitch though. On top of that bitch, straight up slugging, pound for pound. Uh, the car a little bit bigger than me, but pound for pound, we was throwing them bitches. That nigga hit me dead in my fucking mouth. I said, oh, oh. <laughs> that one I lost hurt. that one. That was the one I lost, oh, nigga. I gave yeah. up right there, nigga. No hurt. cap. <laughs> nigga stole my motherfucking ass. And I'm a real one, nigga. I'm going to tell you when I lost, too. Yeah, I lost that one, nigga. Me and Daquan had three fights. I won two. He won one. That was the one he won. No cap. That was my nigga, though. For real, for real. <laughs> but when you got two niggas that's like-minded and talk a lot of shit... Y'all gonna box sometimes. It is what it is. That nigga bust me in my fucking mouth, nigga. Yes, that that shirt. I got hella stories, cause I'm a ignorant. I, I used to be just like a little ignorant bad kid, bro. Um, y'all remember Lil Chris from the videos? Hold on, hold on. Y'all remember Lil Chris from the videos? Yeah. Oh, he's looking at. Uh, All right, so Lil Chris, the Mexican in the videos. I remember he he like um he he Mexican and Japanese. That was my dog too. Let me tell you, bro. One time we had this BB gun, right? And I was just childish, so I shot this nigga Chris. I shot this nigga Chris with the BB gun. And that nigga say, he said, hey, bro, bro, you got to let me shoot you back. And I was like, hell no, nah, you ain't shooting me back. He said, you, you got to let me shoot you back, but that's not fair. I said, bro, I promise you, you're not shooting me back, so it don't even matter. Nigga was hot as hell, boy. He was so hot. I was like, bro, it don't matter. And I said, you ain't going to do nothing, right? I said, you ain't going to do nothing. And this, this nigga, bro. He came up on me. I was like, oh, okay, this nigga in my face. He still ain't gonna do nothing. Nigga stuck me right in my braces. Now that shit hurt. But hey, I was older. I ain't get on that one. That nigga stole me in my mouth. I said, got me fucked up. I bang that nigga up in Affion's backyard. Aff used to hate when I fought. I was over his house. I always fought niggas in his backyard. Every motherfucker day, I fought niggas in his backyard. But I bang little Chris up. That, that was, that was their I bang that nigga. He said, stop, stop. <laughs> on his ass. Yeah, 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 nice blast. But little Chris, my dog. To this day, he's still my dog. <laughs> to, to this day, he's still my dog. They said Leland fight story. Right oh, yeah. you know, I, had none. I, I, was, I was really one of, the, one of the niggas in the back that saw this shit go on. There's RC going to the middle. Oh, never mind. Uh, yeah, hey, Leland, hey, Leland hey, used to just be with me, bro. I'm telling you, hey, I was, hey, the, hey, I was hey, the, I was the I, I, I was there. I was there for a lot of the stories that he got. I was be like, bro, it's, it's yeah, not man. even that serious. Yeah, Leland, Leland, Leland know I was a little ignorant when I'm, I'm not ignorant no more though. I'd be chilling. <laughs> Niggas yeah, nowadays, they uh, shoot niggas. I don't, I don't mess with niggas. There's fight story. <laughs> All right, oh, I got one time you was uh, walking by and you survived getting jumped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, let me let me tell it. <laughs> All right, so yeah, anyway, so anyways, I was walking home, right? I saw niggas boxing. I said, I said, oh damn, what's going on over here? I was looking. I was looking. I was just a regular nigga. I was like, ooh, I want to see this fighting. You know what I'm saying? So anyways. I see my little sister there. I said, what the fuck? I, but she's always at fight. She's always at fight, so, so, that's, so that's understandable, though. So it wasn't yeah, weird. His, his, his but, then, but this time, Ooh. she got hit, right, by the dude that was fighting. He he just hit her. I said, oh, he got me fucked up. Nigga, I went to pure rage mode, red. All I saw was fucking red, bro. We started fighting. <laughs> I hit that nigga once. Everybody in the crowd, it was, oh, it was, by the way, it was like 50 people around. Everybody in the crowd started boxing, bro, immediately after that shit. <laughs> Everybody, bro. Everybody, I'm telling you, bro. And these niggas started fucking boxing me, bro, at the same time. But my nigga, Eric, 
My nigga Eric, his name was Eric, bro. That nigga was crazy as shit. He crazy. Was that nigga was ignorant. Just crazy. Oh, he helped me out. He helped me out, bro. He got he got like 50 niggas off me, bro. I, bro, it was oh. not 50, bro. It was like three niggas, bro. It was like three niggas off me. I said, I said, oh shit. I said, ah, ah. So I just started fighting still, bro. And then it just ended, and then that was it. Keep doing what you're doing, <laughs> Who was the nigga? Uh, it it was that one dude. He went to uh, emo. He went to uh, went to jail. That light skin nigga. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. that dude. Yeah, that one dude. I forgot his name. What's his name, bro? What's this thing in his fucking body? Like straight up. But yes. Honestly, I don't think nobody yeah, else got fight stories than me and Dez. I understand y'all keep on asking that. I don't think nobody else got fight stories than me and Dez. They said Dylan fight story. Yeah, nah. <laughs> said Desmond 50. It was one time, bro. You know, they had just got, took took it a little too far one day, man. I said who? <laughs> you said Ben? Okay, what happened? Ben. Yeah, what happened, Dylan? Uh, I just I, I don't I don't remember exactly. I just remember waking my eyes. I, I was open my eyes and Ben was on the ground. Ben slept you? Uh, and then, no, 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 no. Ben was on the ground. I was a fit of rage. Oh, that's, what, that's how you <laughs> no, it. Yeah, it was blind no. rage. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Dylan don't got no fight stories. Sorry, y'all be making up stories about niggas, but no. <laughs> oh, shit. You get that nigga, Jay? Oh, you did. And plus, me and Desmond went to an ignorant ass high school. Them niggas was boxing every second. Hey, them niggas was boxing every day, bro. Every second. That was a dangerous high school to be at, honestly. Very. No, that, that, that was evil shit. Come on. Niggas wanna fight that bitch every that day. That school had so many fights. They had 30 something fights one day. So they called the state troopers and the next day we went to school, it was state troopers in all the hallways. No it's cap, called Wake Crowd, no cap. Y'all can look up Wake Crowd. That, that was like, that it's an evil shit, school. Bro. It's literally an evil school. It was fun, but they was bad as hell in that bitch. You said Mark was scared? Hey, freshman year, I was scared. Ain't no cap. I was, hey, I was. No cap, I was scared. Bro, was scared freshman year, it was it literally was like, it was like a fucking race at, at, war. At that point, it was, at that point, man. it was worse yeah, y'all niggas was fucking crazy. Y'all, y'all seen Freedom Artists? That was our school for freshman year, bro. No cap, bro. no cap, no cap, no cap. No cap. Like, no cap. cap. They, they explain that whole like Freedom Riders. Who explained that whole like Freedom Riders? Yo, uh, uh, the, the whenever we they got they threatened to send us there if we fucked up at university. <laughs> It's, it's oh yeah. Like freedom Riders. <laughs> that was like the highlights. Uh, it's like Freedom Riders. Nah, that score, that score was evil. I used that hoe all the way up. That's bullshit. Oh my gosh, I Oh yeah, I got him, I got him. still going, bro? I ain't bringing back story time since I brought it back one time. Niggas was selling that hoe. Well, they did good, actually, but I just feel like niggas was You know what I'm saying? I ain't really getting too many fights, you know what I'm saying? I was scrapping here and there. John, shut your ass up. <laughs> I was, the only time I fought was when I, I fought my brothers and stuff at home. You know, we play fights and stuff. But, I mean, I was just, you know, you know where this is going. They said John Red next door. <laughs> they said John Red next door. <laughs> hey, it's childish. Hey, John used to be boxing, bro. They said John bully story. <laughs> <laughs> I got some of those. But you know what I'm saying? That was early. I was just like uh like Jay and Devin said, I was a freshman too, so you know what I'm saying? We had a nurse back then. Uh-huh. Okay, keep going. We all have a you know what I'm saying? We're at six wins? Yeah, we're at six and yeah. right? No, oh, people saying five. five. Oh, we're at five. five. We're at five. Um, oh, we just, oh. I, was, I, was, I was trying to tell you, but you was telling your story, so I was just waiting. But then most just kept oh, okay. coming in. I was like, oh, I'm just waiting. But we had five, though. <laughs> Someone said, John was the white kid. You and your brother jumped. Don't lie to us. They said, Wake High High School Musical. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go over there and tell them that oh, there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Walk in there and say that. I, I don't even have to say that. Go over there to Wake High and say, y'all High School Musical. They gonna start. They gonna throw some hands with y'all so motherfucking fast. They oh, <laughs> niggas man. dangerous. Them <laughs> niggas is dangerous. Man, play, I'm not bro. dangerous. Them yeah. niggas is dangerous. Bro, y'all don't understand, bro. I literally went outside t one day, bro. They said, "Let's jump somebody." No cap. No I cap. Said, bro, why? Yeah, I tell you what? a story about you. You told me a story. Rap. 
Oh yeah, huh? is there a time where you you got checked by a, a girl? There's who? Been... You right? Oh, oh yes. There's this... okay, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, bro. There's this girl, right? There's this girl. Oh, with me. Okay, me and Jay was playing basketball. And Curl. There's this girl. Yeah, with Curl. There's this girl, right? I found her. <laughs> y'all, I'm not. I'm telling y'all right wait, now. Wait, wait, wait. Before you finish this, Desmond. Hold on, okay, Desmond. Desmond. Before you finish this, go ahead, go let, ahead. let me give you the, the the ninja car info on this girl. This girl yes. name. Yeah, hold yeah, on, yeah, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna say her name. I'm not gonna say her name because yeah, niggas from Waco be watching yeah. our streams, so I ain't gonna say her name. But there was this girl. She was dangerous as fuck. For some reason, her and her she boyfriend used to be boxing. Like gonna you know, you know how like boys be abusing girls. She used to abuse her boyfriend at school. She stick that nigga in his mouth like three times. Nigga be bleeding at school. I swear to God. I swear to God, nigga, she stole her, her, her boyfriend like every day. No kidding. Yes. I don't know what the fuck no, that nigga was no doing, real. talking to girls, whatever. She stole that nigga every day. One day, we was playing basketball at the park. It's a little park over here in Waco. We was playing basketball. Yeah. Now, Desmond had to... <laughs> Desmond had to guard. He had to, he had to guard this evil girl. Hold on. Desmond had to guard this evil girl, bro. And then I'll, I'll let you tell from there, Desmond. You got the bread, bro. Okay, so I had to guard her, right? And her brothers yeah. are my job. We play on her brothers too. Brothers. Niggas hood is a bitch. Brothers hood so anyway, is hell. Niggas. The, the brothers, the brothers, they're Kage level ninja, by the way. They literally Kage level. Literally. Yeah, they Kage level ninja. Anyways, I accidentally fouled her, right? I accidentally fouled her. Next thing it says, she said, hey, you better keep fouling before I slap your bitch ass. You better so stop fouling. You better you stop fouling before I slap your bitch ass. She did say that. Dead ass, bro. And I said, oh, I said, oh. Now, I swear to God, y'all, the game stopped. The game stopped, and all our brothers just were staring like, and you better not say nothing. Nigga. I said, I said, damn, Desmond, you better not say nothing. That's what my head was saying. I said, they don't know about this one, Desmond. If you say something, we, are, we about to get slept on this court. Them niggas was big. They was dark. Every Hey, them niggas was, hey, bro, them niggas from the, <laughs> you know, I understand it. You know, I understand it. No, you not understand them. You not understand them, niggas. Them, we call them niggas eaters. Hey, yo, they was talking, and she was the talking girl. She, I feel like she could. I feel like she could drop you, bro. Hell okay. no, she can't drop you. Stop it, boy. <laughs> All right. All she right. can't drop you, but she, but she, you, she know what she was doing. Her brothers was there, and she knew her brothers that was gonna sleep true. any nigga on that, that court. Is true too. That is Me true. and Karen was down. If if she was, if Desmond was gonna say something, we would have just got dropped with Desmond. Yeah, right. But Desmond but didn't say nothing. Yeah. So I mean, the girl did check the nigga, but. She did, mm -hmm. but no, Dad, no, it's not just they dark, nigga. They was evil, nigga. Fuck is you talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, they bro, they, 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 we don't just give Kage level of titles to niggas, man. Yeah, it was, was just Kage. What grade were we in? I think we was in like uh, uh, 11 grades. We left at 11 grade. I remember when y'all told me that story, nigga. I was fucking rolling. I think Dylan was on go. Uh, yeah, I, bro. I killed like four of them right there. I was fucking rolling when they told me nah, that. Nah, she shit, didn't slap Dez, but Desmond started playing off. That nigga was not trying to go hard no more. Yeah, I, I played I played that shit off. You shouldn't be able to just use hockey like that. I, play really, her, bro. I, That's her bro. I didn't touch her at all next the next 30 minutes. Oh yeah, playing. let me tell you this story, y'all. In Austin, there's this place called Sixth Street, bro. This is now when when Sixth Street <laughs> have oh, Texas on. relays, when Sixth Street have Texas relays, that's the most dangerous place oh, you can ever be at man. on earth. Oh, wait, 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 that wait, was like wait, 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 wait. What? Let me let me continue the story on that girl one more time, bro. Right, hey, y'all, no cap, no cap. Two weeks later, I had a class with her, right? Bro, she started flirting with me, bro. Like I said, I said you just tried to drop me like two days ago. What do you mean? Stop. She, she asked me my name. She said, she said, she said, what's your name? How you doing? I said, you. Look. She said, you look kind of good. I said, what is going on? No cap. That's why. That's how Waco High is, bro. They literally don't care. It's a she deleted place. her save data of everything that happened, bro. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, bro. That don't make sense. <laughs> hey, wait, Jay. What, okay, what I have to go ahead with six. Wait, Jay. Which, which takes the relay story you about to say? You talking about P Woods? Bro, what? No, 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 no. P Woods. No, 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 no. Not that nigga. He, I'm talking okay, about the. Okay, I'm okay. talking about the nigga. Uh, I'm talking about that nigga who, like, on 6th Street, usually, like, they pull out guns and everybody got just run now. It's like a whole crowd of niggas <laughs> running. Every time they pull out a gun, the whole crowd, like, the, like it's like, picture, like, 6,000 niggas in one spot and everybody just start running at you at the same time. That's what happens oh when a nigga pulls out no, a gun. No and it's cap. one street. It's one street. It's no cap, nigga. It's like the most people in the world in that hey, spot. Y'all should, should stay back a little bit. All right, so this nigga, little. everybody kept on running because niggas oh, kept pulling out guns and shit. And up in the hoodest nigga of all hood niggas, he's the boss of all hood niggas. This nigga said, uh -huh. Next nigga to step on my shoes, I'm going to knock they bitch ass out. <laughs> so, some like, five minutes went by. 
And I kid you not, somebody pulled out a gun and everybody took off running and you can barely run completely. So I yeah. ended up, and guess where I ended up, man? I ended up on that nigga's shoes. And this oh, nigga was like six oh. fucking six. I looked up at this nigga. This nigga looked down. I said, that's it for me. All right then, y'all. <laughs> I'm out of there. And this nigga said, you good, nigga. I said, oh, 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 thank God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, nigga. I was mad. No cap. No cap. Leland Leland was there on that story and everything, bro. I was there. I was there. We were young. We were getting Yeah, we were like 14 and 15. This nigga, man. We were tuning. We was tuning. We was young, bro. That nigga said, next nigga to step in my shoes, I'm going to knock they bitch ass out. <laughs> Five minutes later, I don't know how God be putting me in these situations, but I was on that man's shoes. I said, oh, shit. <laughs> you good, and bro. I couldn't move because 6th Street is so packed. Man, tell these niggas, bro. No, y'all don't understand how packed this whole is. It's, it's just packed as a bitch. Oh. There's bars along the whole street for like seven blocks, and this whole just... Full, like you, you remember the pack club? It's like that on yes. a full street. A full they, street. They, they so, really so I couldn't move. I was just on that nigga's shoes. That nigga say, he looked down at me. I said, oh yeah, I'm about to get slept. He finna knock my ass clean out. I ain't even gonna know what happened. And he said, you good nigga. And he said it evil too. So I said, I said, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. With me. <laughs> what you think I'm supposed to say? No, nigga. What's up? Oh no, not at all. We are good. Cause now I know I know a lot of niggas remember, a lot of niggas remember the story where I almost got jumped because I was with Brandon. A lot of niggas remember that story, right? <laughs> Say yes if you remember that story on Story Time Sunday. It's the first Story Time Sunday I ever told. It's the one where I almost got jumped by them niggas. They surrounded the car and tried to beat you. We finna D one one of you whole ass niggas up. What does that mean? See, to this day, they don't know. Today, what does D1 mean? What All right, well, what's about to happen? What's happening? That's what happened. So these niggas was finna jump me, right? Uh, now, I never told the second part of that story because I didn't feel like it was long enough for uh, what you call it. But I did promise a part two. But I'm but also is, a capper. This is canon. This is canon. Yeah, I was, this I'm is also canon. a capper. So I never really. Oh, man. I just seen this nigga thank assassinate you. my nigga. Yeah, thank you. That was me. <laughs> this is all canon. So, so this is hold on, hold on. This is this is this is what happened, bro. Okay. So after I almost got jumped and I barely survived with my life, right? We now me and Leland, man, I was with this nigga every weekend, and we used to go to the most hood places of life. Every time we would go somewhere, and we know when niggas about to pull out a gun, but it was fun to us for some reason. I don't know why. It was very, it was it's very black. fun. It, it's fun. We're black. I don't know why. We like danger as fun. Anyway. We went to these parties, and this party we went to was right after the party where I almost got jumped. Now, I get up in there, and we chilling, and guess what? I run into the niggas. A nigga walked up to me, and he said, ain't you that nigga that we was finna jump? I promise you. I said, oh, oh, this is crazy. The niggas caught me. They caught me. All them niggas. But this time, I wasn't with just one nigga. I was with a lot of niggas. So I said, I looked to the left to see if all the niggas that was with me was understanding what was going on. And I said, yeah, that was me. And them niggas just turned. They just literally turned and walked away. They walked over to the side, right? Now, that part is over. But let me tell you what happened at the end of the story. So if RDC would have went the way it was supposed to, there would most likely be this nigga named Isaac in there. Right, Isaac is is Leland's cousin. He not my cousin, but he's he's like my he's Leland's cousin on the other side. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, he yeah. basically my cousin too because we hung out so much too. So he was there too, and this nigga was bad. Like this nigga always fight niggas at every party. So now we about to leave. We about to leave. Me and Leland actually already left, and with yeah, Isaac, my house. we down the street house. from Leland's house with Isaac in the car. And this nigga, Isaac, get a phone call, and, and it's just, it sounds chaotic. And it was like, bro, <laughs> this nigga just hit this girl. Isaac, he hit your girl, something like this. And then Isaac said, man, Jay, turn this car around, bro. Turn this car around. I'm finna go box this nigga. I said, oh, damn. So I turned the car around, and we pull up, and the whole party is outside waiting for my car to pull up. I swear to God. Now, he get out the car. And it's bang time. That nigga Isaac yeah, is he, boxing. It's, 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 like, it's like moderate, but they, they saw this nigga touch down and it's, it, all the action started. Man, all right when Isaac action. got there, it, it, that boy it, it, started it, it, boxing. He <laughs> was boxing that nigga, right? Now, Isaac was boxing this nigga, and, and next to you, know, all I heard, y'all, this oh, nigga had God. to be close, as close as my hand, y'all. Look at this. My hand right here, y'all see my hand? That's how close it is to my head. 
a nigga pulled out a gun and shot that bitch in the air two times. First of all, I thought I was shot. Nigga, I said, my body went to spaghetti. Nigga, I've never felt like this. My body said, oh, no, 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 no. Like, my body just like, like a cartoon. Oh, no, 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 no. I fell to the ground. Just like that, I thought I was shot. I look on the ground. I couldn't move. I couldn't move, nigga. I said, oh, I couldn't move. Nigga, I, I was I was seeing feet moving past me. It was They was running so fast. I couldn't find Leland. Leland was gone. Now, all I could think about, I was in my mama Mercedes. That's all I could think about. I was in my mama Mercedes. And, and the Mercedes was right here. And it was so crowded. I couldn't move. I couldn't move. I, I grabbed onto my car. And I, oh, hold on. Let me kill this nigga. I got, I grabbed onto my car. And I opened the back seat. And I got in it just like that. I said, uh, uh. Got in the back seat, nigga. Nigga, I was terrified in there. The nigga with the gun was right next to me the whole time. I don't know what his mission was. But he made everybody run. So then, I'm looking for Leland. Leland left me. He didn't care if I was shot or not. Nigga moved so quick, I don't even know what happened to him. I did not care, bro. Leland don't care. Let me tell you this. Leland don't care about nobody but himself in any, every situation. That nigga, that nigga is checking for his well-being, his well-being only. Which is fucked up, because every time something happened to this nigga, I'll be checking for his little lame ass. But anyway... <laughs> and then he was gone, so I'm in the back, bro. I was terrified. And then once once the nigga with the gun went away, I got in my car and I drove through the traffic thing. Nice. And I found nice Leland them. I found Leland them. And I got them in the car. Now Ozzy got back in the car. Remember they was fighting the whole time. And this nigga, this nigga got in the car with not only just Ozzy, he got in the car with like seven like niggas. niggas. But it was, niggas, it was like seven or eight extra niggas on top of me and Leland in my car. Okay, okay. Well, hold on, hold on. Okay, so I'm, sitting in the, I'm sitting in the passenger seat. This nigga, my cousin get in the car. These niggas came in like fucking sardines, but it was a nigga sitting on the fucking gear shift. Bro, there was a nigga <laughs> sitting on my gear shift. He said, he said, he was sitting on the gear shift. He said, yo, hey, bro, can, hey, can you go? Can you go? Can you go? We finna go fight these niggas. I was like, okay, I guess. And then a car pulled up beside my car and said, what's up, bitch? We'll hit this little weak ass car, nigga. What's up, bitch? We'll hit this little weak ass car. And then the niggas in my car said, hit this bitch, nigga. Hit this bitch and see what happened, nigga. Hit this bitch and see what happened. And I said, what the fuck is going on? It's my mama car do not hit this shit what the fuck is going on bro oh my god and then next thing you know oh them god. niggas drove off and all them niggas hopped out my car and just took off running in different directions i don't know what the fuck happened and then i said bro leland Isaac, let's fucking go we got the fuck up out of there and that's the end of the story no cap no cap none of that shit cap all that shit is completely Fucking facts, factual information. Bro, Leland is with me I on have, all this story. You know this shit. Bro. I have never been in a car that packed, but the car was only a five seat car. It was, it was, a, it was, a, it was a, a car. It was a car. Hey, hey wasn't was, it the Benz? Yes, it was the Benz. Oh, yeah, that, that, that shit was small, was, bro. It was small. That nigga, bro, he he literally sat on the gear shift, bro. I said, I, I'm. This is this is crazy. Bro, that was small. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't believe that shit. Yeah, me and Leland are really the only ones, and Desmond is really the only ones who got stories like that because we was out there wilding, nigga. We was wilding. We, 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 we ran parties oh, yeah. every weekend, bro. I used to bring Desmond out here to wild with me, too, bro. I, I, I'm like, Desmond, come with me this weekend, and some straight hood oh, shit yeah. was going to happen. But Desmond couldn't stay out. Desmond couldn't stay out past 11 or 12. I out, bro. I was being a whole. I was hot too. Was man. I'll be ready to cry going home, bro. Me and Lee's mom, me and Lee's mama used to always tell her to be home at like I don't know what time, but we never made it there on time. Oh, you broke up, Jay? Oh, never mind. You broke up my mind. Oh, uh, I said me and Lee were supposed to be at home every time at a certain time, and me and Lee never got home at that right time. Never. No, 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 no. <laughs> never, never, never. Every time Come we out at two, two. Be, be home at 12. Be, be three in the morning. Walk right in there. <laughs> I couldn't do that, bro. My, but my grandma be waiting for me right there. Damn. Wait for right <laughs> every time. Wait on you. Oh, bro, please. Well, she'll be waiting, but she'll be on the game, bro. Yeah, like, bro, you know, you know, Desmond had like a like a since he had he was living with his grandma. You know, grandma's man, they force <clears throat> they force niggas to get in the motherfucking house. No, no cap, bro. No All cap. I had to tell my mom was I was at Lena's house. So the same. They never called each other like to link stuff together. Like, wait a minute. No, 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 no. They knew we weren't doing nothing crazy. Yeah, but we was doing shit crazy. That's yeah, the crazy we, thing. We, 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 <laughs> we were around the crazy boys. shit. We was around crazy shit, man. We wasn't yeah. ever really wilding like that. Yeah. <laughs> Them parties was wild, man. Them hoes was wild, man. Such a great... Such a great time. Oh my gosh, how did I get both of us? Hey, hold on, yo, 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 we got six right now. We always lose on this. Oh, this yeah, team deathmatch. Yeah, we do. Oh, yeah, we do. Uh, focus up. Yeah, that's fine. Damn. Right, babe. Shit. 
I didn't. I no. couldn't remember. Yeah, another, another story you could have said instead of that was uh, whenever uh, AB was throwing them eggs at the car, Jay, and he hit that hood nigga shit, bro. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that nigga was sitting in the <laughs> car like father from kids next door. That nigga was dark, bro. It was sunny outside. I could. He had no facial features, bro. All he had, all I could see was his teeth because he had a grill in, bro. That nigga was, boy, that, that, that's a car game. Meeting Dylan and Ben story. There ain't no story to meeting these niggas. I just met them, bro. Well, actually, that was no, a little he, bit. That's a little bit to Ben's story because uh, Ben. Uh, what part? Ben. Uh, when I met Ben, nigga thought he could beat me in Super Smash, but I banged that nigga the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only I thing. That's where you was going. I don't know where you was going. <laughs> that's it. That's the only thing I can remember from meeting Ben. I met Ben through Av though, and I met Dylan through through Leland, and there was no yeah. like specialties. Yeah. Was it close when y'all fighting? Yeah, he was fighting. He was fighting. Well, I, yeah, but it was, I was hot because, bro, <laughs> bro, you know you only play like your certain friend groups when you play like certain fighting games, bro. I already really thought I was that cold ass nigga, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga ass, hey, but I don't know what, what how Smash came up, but they said y'all cold too. I said, nah, bro, I'm about to beat this nigga, bro. I know I'm about to beat this nigga. Like, you know I mean, worried about it, cause I was already cold as like one of the coldest niggas at my school too, like on actual Smash. Yeah, no, nah, that's a good. He was fighting. He was fighting. He pulled that hoe up. He pulled up Kirby. I was like, Kirby? You don't know if I play with, play with Kirby, bro. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's on that name. How did I meet John, man? John, man, now, that that's a actually that's a wild nigga bro. right there, bro. John, <laughs> John snaked his way in the RDC, bro. I ain't never met a nigga like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, no. The moral of the story is if. If you believe in your dreams, oh no, no. no. John Snake is winning RDC, bro. I look, 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 look. Everybody in RDC that's, is supposed to be in RDC. John Snake this way in. That's the only one I gotta say. Oh. <laughs> I put this nigga in because he snaked this way in. That's why. Oh, you you like the style? How he was doing? I like the style. I said, I said, you're a true snake, man. Come on, Roach Mar, join in. That's what I said. That's how Roach Mar got into the Kotsky. That's why all right, so that, uh, John, all right, this nigga John messaged me, and he was saying that he basically could, could get RDC on the news. <laughs> now, at the time, I was a little fresher. I was like, ooh, RDC on the news sounds good. So nigga had a whole story. He had a whole thing. It sounded very believable, very believable, because I'm not gullible. So it, it sounded very fucking believable. So Nick came it over. Like it's a lie. It was a lie. But listen, <laughs> let me keep going. So hold on, listen, listen, listen. This nigga say, he messaged me and shit. So I was like, man, this nigga... This nigga's from KCEN News, nigga. So I'm like, yeah. This nigga comes to the house with a camera. Now, I already thought this was sketch. I said, why this nigga got a camera we can afford? Because I thought, like, you know, news niggas don't have cameras that we can afford. So I said, okay, this nigga's here with a camera that we can afford. What the fuck going on? But yeah. he said, he said, no, nah, it's just because, like, like, it was kind of a high-quality camera. So I was like, okay, cool. Maybe they, they edit really good and, and they got um, color correctors and whatnot. That, which is believable. So I was like, cool. He came over and he was just recording us talking in the car about shit. He was asking news questions and shit. And we finished that shit. He went oh to our house God, and we was hanging God. with him. And he was cool nigga and everything, I guess. Oh and then the nigga and we was like, okay, so <laughs> yeah, 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 man. Nice to meet you and shit. When, and he yeah, left. He said, when is it going to be on news? Yeah, yeah. He was like, oh, let me talk to my sister. I'm going to get back to y'all because she, she was the one who worked at the news station for real, for real. So I was like, bet. <laughs> so then... Six months go by. Right. I'm like, where the fuck is our news story, nigga? Well, first, I, I called my mama. I was like, mama, we gonna be on the news. She was like, ah, what channel? I was like, I, was like, I don't know, know, man. I don't know, but we gonna be on that bitch. So, no, it wasn't six months. It was like a month or two went by. And I was like, hey, bro, hey, when, when that whole air, my mama didn't have the TV on for two months. Like, when that whole air, bro. So, I'm like, let's come on. Let's make this shit happen. Nigga was like, oh, yeah, bro. He said, soon, bro, soon. And then we meet this nigga again at the next convention. He was like, hey, you know I can get y'all into conventions. Because niggas was horned us, and they would never let us be, like, uh, guests at convention. So, John started talking to them niggas, and, and he got us into a few conventions. So, I was like, bet, bet. So, we was hanging with him. And I was like, you a cool dude, for real. I said, but when we get on the news, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he just, he just avoided that question every time I asked. And I'm like, you, bro. Well, <laughs> now, so that's why when we put John in, I was talking to him. And I wanted to make a convention for, for people like Dude. us. So, and John was always getting us in the convention. So I thought he knew more about conventions than the average nigga. So I was like, look, help me run DreamCon. And that's why he that's what he joined the group for is to help run DreamCon. That's why I like him be acting all the time and stuff, because he runs DreamCon mostly. 
So that's that's like his part. That's yeah. that's what he supposed to do. That's he he on our ship for that reason. You know what I'm saying? Just like on One Piece, they everybody got a reason they on the ship, but they all gotta fight the fights. You know what I'm saying? That's what John is here for. You know what I'm saying? But every time I ask this nigga till this day, why we ain't on the news, nigga? He's a lie. He lied. You know what I'm saying? I still don't know why we never made that goddamn news. Never got news. on that news, man. I don't know why we never got on the fucking news. <laughs> Let me, can I explain my side from my perspective? All right, go. Oh, my gosh. All right. So, just so y'all know, RDC fans, I was one of y'all. I was in the chat, too. I was, I was in here commenting, doing stuff, and, and, and making jokes and stuff, and watching videos. And my sister, she be, I don't know, I don't know exactly what she, she does, like, PR stuff. So, she, mm -hmm. she was with the news company, and they were trying to do a segment on, like, social media and, like, like, oh, like, like black people. Right. So whenever she said that, I was already watching RDC, and I was like, "Oh, bet like, uh, I can I know these guys that would be really good for that segment." So that's when I went down there to, like, first I was like, "Well, like, I don't have like a camera or nothing like that." So I got a, a, a camera so I could record myself and get like kind of like, I mean, obviously it was like amateur, but I got like you know I was just asking like the basic questions you know people that would ask like what they do all this extra extra stuff so that I could yeah. come back to Houston. And, and give it to her so that she, can, <laughs> and she can use for the, the segment. Now, now from that point forward, I don't know, I don't know how the whole process worked, what was happening. I was just following directions. That's it. You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, okay, cool. This wins are coming out, whatever. I sent it, yada, yada, yada. Now, after like two or three months, it never came. I don't know what happened. She told me that the other person that You snaked us. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 You already here, John. You already here. You might as well tell the truth. It's okay. I'm telling the truth. Okay. You made it. Okay. After... <laughs> that was the biggest finesse of, 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 of your life. You got it. You got here. Somebody call John Usopp, bro. Usopp. <laughs> he lying all the time. I'm not lying. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> my, See, my my heart was in the right place. I was trying to look out for niggas. You know what I'm saying? Support black niggas. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to help. <laughs> but she had, she had no obligation to put us on the news. No. She didn't. She didn't, but she, she was the one that told me. I told her, I pitched it, and she said, oh, yeah, go ahead and do it. And I said, okay, bet. Uh, that's, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I said, okay. I'm about to go down there. Whatever. Cool. I thought it was a cool opportunity. I drove four hours. I drove from Houston all the way up to Denton. I thought, oh yeah, this is Dallas. It's gonna take like three hours. Well, you gotta go all the way through Dallas and go to Denton. And I drove up there, and it was a good time. I had a good time. I met these niggas. I was out like, cool. Got the vibe. Yada yada yada. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now after they got hold, I was like, damn, I really hold these niggas, man. I really wasted their time that time. So I was like, what's up? What's no, you said, damn, you really hold them niggas, but you never told us. <laughs> <laughs> you did yeah, it, cool. fella. Why would I say that to y'all? That doesn't help. I'm not gonna say I hold y'all. What? You was always John, man. No, I don't, because I... I, I, <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, I really, it's not my best. I, I really didn't know, like, when it was supposed to happen. I didn't have an answer. I was like, wait, what, what's going on? Where's the mm -hmm. second? Like, so I, damn, I, was, damn, I, I, I hold y'all in that way, but it wasn't intentional. Like, I really thought that I was... I came there to do what I thought was about to happen. That nigga said, hey, yo, Mark, I can make you president. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all niggas is funny. <laughs> He's trying to get in his house. He's trying to get in his house. <laughs>